Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a very brief topic which is called the illuminance or illuminance analysis. So in the past, if, I, if you are not new to my channel, you already know that I have been doing works of simulation, lighting simulation and energy simulations. Uh, if you are new, I uh, request you check out my channel. I work with Revit and IES uh, simulations. So I have received a lot of emails on um, how to do the lighting analysis, lighting simulation and how their results are not as they expected. So a lot of the times it happens because you they were not aware of the illuminance analysis and how does it work. So today I'm just going to talk about that and familiarize with you guys uh, with that simulation. So first of all, let's just know what is illuminance. So it is the illuminance is a measurement of light striking on a surface and is expressed in two kinds of units. So it is actually uh, the measurement of how much light is falling onto a surface, whether it's a room's floor, whether it's a wall or ceiling, or whether it's a table, for example, in a classroom, how much light is falling on the students' benches and tables, uh, or in, on an, in an office scenario, how much light falls on a table. So, um that's that so it's expressed in two kinds of units one is food candles which is used in usa or its short form as fc and the ba it is based on a square feet basis and lux uh, in most countries um which is based on square meters i usually prefer lux i'm more aware of lux but fce also works um, Revit has both FC or food candles and Lux and you can change the unit and I will be showing you that. And it is done for a specific day and in a specific range of time. That means, uh, let's go on an example. So this is an interior. If you see here, uh, these points are the Lux or FC points. That means these are the illuminance points. For example, the illuminance over here where there is a window and you can see the daylight, there it will be more. Whether, whereas here in the dark places where there are less daylights, um, the food candle or the lux amount will be less. So this is like a point basis uh, image and the same image is translated into different color contours that is the red is the highest lux or food candle where, whereas the blue is the lowest places now this is a, a, another thing we need to think about well, what are you um, simulating are you simulating daylighting or are you simulating artificial lights only or it's a mix of both if it is a daylight that means these values keep on changing it's not going to be constant that means you cannot just take one simulation for example um, on a just um, September 2nd uh, at morning 9 a.m. if you just take that and assume that's the same amount of light throughout the year it's not gonna happen um, as you, let's just say over here if I go to lighting in Revit simulation and I want to run a illuminance analysis let's just give you an example over here so this is illuminance um, here again you can change whether it's a lux or food candle and here in the date and time you have to specify what's the day of the year and what's the time range that means it's going to give you the uh, give you the results for that specific time 
so that's that you cannot just choose one day and say yes that's the result for the whole year if you are doing some annual simulation or if you need a monthly simulation now uh, designers especially um, narrow the sp because of course you cannot do 365 days simulation that's a huge amount of data and it's unnecessary so if you are a designer an architect or in an engineer uh, we usually do some kind of uh, strategies or scenarios or, or schedules i will give you one example for that is over here if you can see this is a summer this is a winter so for example uh, here the person is doing an analysis for summer and winter only in the summer they have taken june that means the june is the highest temperature or it's the hottest so they have taken june to uh, symbolize uh, summer or to uh, to um, take uh, into con consideration to represent summer here uh, they have taken january to represent winter and there are three time limits that is 9 a.m 12 noon and 5 p.m then of course there will be more uh, range of uh, readings in the middle but if you take from 9 to 5 and if you take three timing i that is like an international way of representing the whole day of a of a of a month so you can generalize you can like uh, st uh, take a result and you can compare and you can co come up to a results so this is how things are done usually it's like um, you can take you can choose three times if it's it's residential that means um, sundown you can just choose between 5 or 6 p.m. maybe um, so yeah that's how things are done so this is called illuminance it is a very different concept than luminance or daylighting let me just show again again here illuminance is daily basis whereas this this is different from a daylight factor analysis on revit uh, daylight factor over here will be only one it, it will be annually taken so there is only one um, result for the whole year for the whole year so there is only one result so you don't have any option to choose from here just option to choose which level and you can choose the percentage uh, in different um, standards it's different percentages so um, again illuminance analysis you have these you can choose and you will be doing that um, here you have these other three kinds of skies and yeah that's it so this is the concept of illuminance i hope it uh, adds to your knowledge i hope it helped um, if there is any question hit me up in the email or write a comment below and thank you have a nice day bye